Hi guys, sorry for delaying videos. I've been really busy recently, um, not just with work, but also I've been quite poorly. I've had two colds <coughs> in the space of a month and quite a bad cough. So if I sound a bit different, then you know why. Um, I've been busy with work too. As you know, I do like modeling and makeup and of course been busy with point shoes too, doing a lot of point shoe fitting, helping a lot of um, students get their first point shoes, which is always a really exciting time. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos which is going to basically kind of talk about all the questions I'm asked on a frequent basis. And um, one of those questions I'm asked is all about point shoe shanks. And the question is, why can't a student um, break in their point shoe shank easily? Now, the reason for this, there's quite a few reasons actually. One in particular, and the main one, is probably because you're not um, working through the shoe enough. So the shoe isn't like warming to your foot and enough and it isn't basically conforming to your arch. Another really common um, problem with this is that you're fitted in the wrong shank strength. And a lot of dancers aren't aware that different brands of point shoe have different um, kinds of shanks as well and different shank strengths. So for example, a shank in a Grishko is very different to a shank in another brand. They're all made very differently and the way that one point shoe reacts to some person's foot is very different to another. You know, it's all about finding the right shoe for you. Now, the beauty with a Grishko point shoe, I know I will go on about Grishko because obviously I am um, a Grishko stockist and I fit Grishkos, but honestly, I have tried like loads and loads of brands over the years and Grishko is my personal favorite. Now, I'm gonna to talk to you a bit about Grishko sh shanks because the way they melt into the arch is just really beautiful. There's no doubt about it. I've had dancers that, well, I've had a lot of dancers actually, where I basically fit them in a Grishko from another brand and they cannot believe the difference. They can't believe that instant kind of um, support they feel around their foot and the way that the arch um, just conforms to the shoe just so beautifully and the way the shank melts. Now, as you can see, this shoe here is a Grishko 2007, which is the most popular Grishko shoe. You may have heard of it. It's a new one here that I've taken out of my stock. I'm just going to show you the beautiful shank. That's the outer sole, obviously, and the shank's on the inside. Now, let me just see if I can just pop this back for you. Now, typically, Grishko 2007 comes in a three-quarter shank. Now, that means that basically the flexibility is more kind of at the three-quarter mark. Um, it's kind of like as though a bit of Imagine that you've got a shank and it's been cut. Like some professional dancers who wear Freed or other brands, for example, tend to cut their shanks down at the three-quarter mark. So they find where their arch is and they cut, cut it so the shank um, basically conforms the arch a lot quicker. Now, with the 2007 model, it's basically, um, although it looks like a full shank, it's actually three-quarter. Now, 2007 can come in a full shank, by the way, as far as I'm told, but typically they do come in three-quarter. So... It means that basically, can you see that the way it just bends really nicely there? It's gonna be a lot easier for the dancer to achieve full point in this shoe because it's nice and supple there. Now this is a medium shank. People often ask me about um, Grishko shanks comparing to other brands. Personally for me, now this is just my own personal opinion, but I feel that a medium shank in a Grishko is probably it's kind of like a standard in a block, and a standard in most brands actually, but just a little bit more flexible, but kind of stronger in a way. Um, some people find a medium Grishko harder to break in, um, but once they are broken in, they find that they offer such tremendous support, and they hug the arch so much better than other brands, and I personally feel that way too. So it's worth persisting if you've got a Grishko and you feel that you can't break it in yet. Just do a lot of roll throughs. In fact, I'll do a video talking about that. I have done one actually on my channel about how to break in shoes. If you go and view that, that should help you a lot too. Anyway, so with these, um, with the Grishko 2007 shank, it just melts so much better to the arch. And as you can see, it's got that flexibility there already out of the packet. So you haven't got to worry about doing a lot of work to the shank, which can be um, quite time consuming. Now, of course, everyone's feet are different, you know, not everyone is going to be able to wear the medium shank. And it's important that you know that Grishko's and most brands come in a variety of strengths of shank. So if you feel that you can't quite work with the medium shank, then feel free to ask your fitter about other options. Because Grishko do come in um, Proflex, which is a really, really soft shank. 
Um, they kind of call it like a stage ready shoe really because it is very soft. Now I only fit students in that shank if I feel they've got a very flat foot or they're very like weak at the moment and I feel that they need a softer shank to get fully onto the point of the shoe. But typically I don't fit many people in it because it does die super fast. I myself have worn Pro Flex and a medium and a hard so it does come in two different strengths. You can custom order it too. But honestly it's very soft. Or you come in, um, you can get Rush go in soft, um, super soft shank or soft and then it goes medium, then it goes hard, then it goes super hard. And remember that with all um, Grishko shoes, you can get them custom ordered to suit you too. So that basically means that you can tell your um, stockist or fitter about what you would like changed from the shoe. Everything from the vamp height, the height of the side quarters, height of the heel, um, what kind of drawstring would you like. You can have no drawstring, you can have cotton drawstring, you can have elastic. You can also change the width of the platform. You can make the platform a little bit wider. And you can, you know, change aspects about the shank too and about the sole, you can have the sole scored, all sorts of things. Anyway, so basically if you can't break your shank in, it's usually because you're in too strong a shank. It could be a case of you're not in the right shoe at all. It could be a strength issue, so don't forget um, to consult your teacher too to see what she thinks. So I would suggest talk to your teacher first, see what she thinks, and then speak to the point you fitter. And remember, if you're not um, feeling, you know, that the current point shoe fitter you have isn't doing um, the kind of best job as you would desire, then maybe go elsewhere. It's good to get a second opinion. Um, if you're local to me, I'm in Essex and London area, you can always talk to me, drop me a mail and I could um, do you a fitting too. But typically, that's why most people struggle with their point shoe shanks. Another thing they struggle with is achieving demi point. Um, so basically, you know when you roll through, you get your demi point, they find it really hard to achieve. Now with Grishko's, especially the models in the UK, they come with something called an easy roll through. The easy roll through basically means that the demi point area on a Grishko is made in a specific way, so it's easier for the dancer to roll through the shoe and the shoe just beautifully comes with them. Now I've worn uh, models of Grishko without the easy roll through and I can tell the difference. So if you feel that you're having a hard time with a demi point, um, even in a Grishko, then it's worth, again, asking your fitter if they can get you the easy roll through design. Of course, it um, depends as well, because if you're in Russia, they typically don't have that easy roll through, because they have the kind of springing up onto point kind of method. Whereas over here, we do the roll through method. So that's another thing to consider. I also suggest that if you've got a pair of point shoes at the moment, and you can't afford to go and get another, or you know, like maybe you're kind of like, you know, under 18 and your parents don't want to buy you enough pair just yet, then don't worry, there's still some other things you can try. Um, for example, put your point shoes on with your toe pads and tights and whatever, um, put some socks over the top, and do some roll throughs. Hold on to the back of a chair or something sturdy because you don't want to slip. And the idea is, is that the heat from the socks will basically go and make your shoes a lot more hotter and make it more likely for the shank to warm up against your feet. You can use a hairdryer, but be very careful that you don't do um, the box area unless your shoes are meant for the hairdryer, like some block models are. Um, be careful if it's a paste shoe that you don't use the hairdryer too much because you don't want to kill the box before you've even really worn the shoes. Because as we both know, that heat and water and anything like that that comes into contact with a point shoe in Pacific, the box, is going to kill it. So be very careful about that. So let me tell you a bit about my experience with shanks in different models. Um, when I've worn block point shoes, I found the shanks to be very stiff. Even the standard model, I just could not get them to conform to my arch enough. And when some um, block styles did conform to my arch, I found that they never really um, molded in the exact spot where I wanted them to, no matter what I did. It looked kind of ugly. And it wasn't just about it being ugly, but it just didn't feel like it was supporting the foot enough like a, like a Grishko does for me. Now that's my personal opinion, but I just want to pull it out there. I've, I've worn loads of brands. With Suffolk's, for example, I find the shanks are quite flimsy. Their standard shank feels to me like um, a super soft Grishko. Um, I've also worn like various Freeds, um, Merlet. God, I've just worn pretty much everything, to be honest. And I've all found that I can't get on with their shanks as much as a Grishko. 
I currently wear um, a combination of either super soft and a Grishka or a soft, sometimes a medium, just depends um, how, I'm, how I'm going. It all depends on injury as well. I've got a weaker left foot from injuries, so typically that foot has a harder time getting onto the platform than the right. Everyone will have their difference in strength, by the way. You'll find that one side of your body is a lot stronger than the other. So just remember to do a lot of strength work and to ensure that you're keeping um, any injuries or any past injuries warm, especially in the winter months, because you will find that you're more typically liable to get another injury and you don't want to do that. So make sure you're in a shank that is strong enough to support you but enough um, flexibility so you can get fully onto your platform. You don't want to be held back at all like this, but you don't want to be going over too far either. It also depends on your own flexibility. If you're hypermobile, you will have tendency to go over too far. So it's all about getting the right shoe for you too, because if you've got um, too short a vamp, then you will kind of um, get banana foot where you're basically popping out the shoe and that is not a good idea. You need to be fully supporting your shoes. I can't stress that enough. Another thing I've got to mention is basically um, shanks come in full shank, three quarter, and you can even get half shank too. Now depending on your foot type or strength from your kind of experience in point work, you may benefit from getting a three quarter shank, but do speak to your teacher first. Because some teachers feel that students shouldn't go onto a three quarter shank until they're quite advanced, whereas some teachers do allow beginners to get a three quarter shank. In my personal opinion, I feel if someone's got the right strength um, and the right kind of um, technique, then they should be fine in a free quarter regardless of being beginner or not. I think that's covered everything about um, shanks and what you need to do really. If you've got any questions, feel free to drop me a comment in the comment box below or you can drop me an email on my website which is www.straighttothepoint.net and my Facebook page which is, um, I've put a link in the bottom as well. 